Uh, my name is Richard O'Brien from Chagas and we're here today at the one of the Dry Cow Cell Check events. I'm going to talk about how we can use records to help us to make better decisions at drying off. And the first report that we can use is through Herb, Herb Plus, where I can go in to View Profiles, Milk Recording SEC, and I can filter the cows that I want uh, for teeth sealant only, or that I want to use for teeth sealant and antibiotic. So I can put in that I want cows at less than 100,000 cell count over all the recordings, and that'll give me a list of cows if I want to use them for teeth sealant only. The second report here is I need to record the events. So if I use teeth sealant only, if I use teeth sealant and dry cow, if I use no treatment or just the dry cow, I need to be able to record that here. So that next year, when I come to look at the report, I'll be able to see how my dry cow period went. The procedure I used, the antibiotic I used, the teeth sealer I used, how well did that work? I need to have a recording in October or within 30 days of drying off. And then I, you need to milk record again around, in March around Paddy's Day. So we take Paddy's Day, milk record then, and that will show me what happened in the dry cow period. And then I can get this report here, which shows me what happened my cows and heifers in that period. So the cows that were less than 200, did they go above uh, 200? So I want that to be less than 10%. I want the heifers that are above 200 to be less than 10 per, or less than 15% and I want the cure rate to be over 85%. So the cure rate means the cows that were over 200, I want them to be less than 200 and I want that to be close to 100% of those cured. And that tells me then that the procedures I used during the dry cow period worked. So the bottom line here is I need milk recording figures to put into these rep reports to make decisions. Oh,